I think it's safe to say that uh, this year Adidas has pushed a lot of these uh, supernova releases on the market and I guess now uh, as the fall just started uh, that this year in the UK uh, they decided to go also bring us the Gore-Tex version as well Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and also giving me a like. It really help out the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm going to review in the next few days. In today's video, guys, we're going to have a look at uh, one of these latest releases coming from Adidas for a pair of uh, Supernovas. So let's go ahead and take them out of the box, which as you can see will come in one of the regular ones in this uh, matte black colorway which will have this big Adidas logo in this gray color here on top. So let's just go ahead and take them out. So in today's video, guys, we're gonna have a look at this brand new release for this Adidas Supernova Gore-Tex. So as I said earlier guys, during this year we had 3 or even 4 releases for this Supernova range which had some slightly different materials either for the upper or for midsole or even both but the latest one is the today's pair which is called a Supernova Cortex and this one is available at least for now in 2 color combinations for men's and 2 for women's so the retail price for this one is just 110 pounds here in the UK, which will be around 125 US dollars. I would say that this one is one of the cheapest uh, releases, which will also have this Gore-Tex uh, membrane, which for sure will be perfect for rainy seasons. So this one is actually coming at the same price as the Pure Boost uh, range which in my opinion feels like a uh, cheaper version of the Ultra Boost range. So in case you don't want to spend your money on the Ultra Boost range, which will be a performance running shoe, there's always this option of the Supernova range, which comes at a lower retail price and giving that this one also have this uh, Gore-Tex materials. I think that at least for now, this should be a bargain. So let's go ahead and also do a small breakdown of this one, guys. So as you can see for this upper, we're gonna have this uh, black mesh material which will also have a lot of uh, perforation holes which normally should give a good breathability but uh, underneath this one we're gonna have that uh, Gore-Tex membrane which will keep your feet dry. So on top of this uh, black mesh material guys, we're gonna have a few other uh, fused materials. One of it uh, will come uh, as a mud guard on both medial and lateral side in this uh, purple to blue colorway. And on top, as you can see, for the whole length, we're gonna have these uh, gray uh, dots, which will also be reflective. We're also gonna have this uh, Gore-Tex uh, branding here on the lateral side of the tobo section. In the midfoot, as you can see, we're also gonna have on the medial side this uh, big uh, Gore-Tex branding. But on the lateral side, we're gonna have your usual uh, three stripes, which yet again will be reflective. But as you can see here at the back, we're gonna have an extra layer of this fused material, which yet again will be reflective. And on top, we're gonna have this uh, purple to blue Adidas logo. And just above it, we're gonna have this uh, synthetic uh, leather material in this gray color. As you for the actual lacing system, we're gonna have this uh, punch out holes, which will also have on top this fused material to keep it from ripping. So this uh, lacing system will keep in place this uh, black flat laces and underneath these laces we're gonna have a very well padded tongue in this black color which uh, will have written in the middle Supernova Gore-Tex and at the top we're gonna have this uh, neoprene uh, material which on top will have this uh, blue to purple Adidas logo. So going now inside of the shoe guys you can see that uh, here at the back we're gonna have this very nice lining which will also have a lot of padding which will keep your foot quite good in place. But uh, as usual for the front part we're gonna have this uh, Gore-Tex membrane which will keep your foot uh, dry. And also guys at the bottom we're gonna have this uh, foam insole in this uh, black color. 
which uh, we've seen it before during this year so this one will have a very nice uh, carved uh, design we're also gonna have this heel section completely visible and we're also gonna have this uh, supernova lettering uh, in this white color here at the heel section so now guys uh, we can go to this uh, blue and black uh, dream strike plus uh, foam midsole which uh, in my opinion it's uh, quite lightweight and also quite uh, squishy underfoot as well the design for this one looks as uh, most of these releases coming for this range uh, which have been released this year which in my opinion is looking quite nice as you can see here on the lateral side at the front we're also gonna have this dream strike plus lettering so in my opinion i would say that for 110 pounds or 125 us dollars uh, this is actually quite uh, comfortable and also quite lightweight so now guys uh, we can finish with this uh, rubber continental outsole in this black and blue colorway which has a very interesting uh, pattern uh, as you can see here at the front we're also gonna have this uh, dream strike uh, plus uh, foam exposed uh, as well which will let this uh, shoe flex a bit more then in the midfoot we're also gonna have uh, some more uh, foam exposed uh, in this black color so I would say that the design for this one is looking actually quite nice and this one will also be quite grippy as well. As in for the actual sizing guys for this one I just went with my true to size and for me as I have a skinny fit I feel that here at the front of the shoe this one is slightly a bit roomy but I would say that if you have normal fit uh, this shouldn't be a problem for you so going with your true to size should be just okay but just in case you have wide fit guys it's either you can stay with this uh, true to size but this one will be a bit tight or you can also go with a half size up just to make sure that this one won't be too tight for you so overall guys this brand new release coming from adidas for this uh, supernova gore-tex in my opinion looks almost the same as uh, most of these releases coming for this range which all of them dropped this year the mesh material uh, looks almost the same as those releases but as this one will be a Gore-Tex uh, version we're also gonna have that uh, membrane underneath which will keep your foot dry I would say that the design for this one guys uh, looks actually quite good we're also gonna have this uh, Dream Strike Plus uh, foam midsole which for sure it's quite uh, squishy and very comfortable underfoot in the same time this one is also quite lightweight and as for this one we're also gonna have this uh, continental rubber outsole i would say that for just 110 pounds this is actually quite a good uh, option on the market right now as i said earlier we're also gonna have options uh, for more expensive releases coming from Adidas, which most of the times uh, will uh, go over 160 or 170 pounds or dollars so for sure i would say that this is one of the cheapest releases coming from Adidas right now for a pair of shoes which will also have the Gore-Tex membrane and also this uh, continental rubber outsole so yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, brand new release coming from Adidas for this uh, supernova Gore-Tex i really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did uh, don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days of course if you want to have a look at any of my latest reviews you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen and as always i'll see you in my next one thanks for watching